Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys some advanced techniques that you guys can do with multiple behaviors in Camtasia. All right, so I got the question, can you use multiple behaviors on like a text or any kind of media? And the answer is yes, you can. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of some things that you can do here. So I have a piece of text here, it's just my name, and I've put it in a larger font and I've made it purple. If you're wondering what this font is, it's called KG Summer and it doesn't come with Camtasia. You have to download it and install it. And um, I have a tutorial on how to do that as well and it's free to do. I like using this font because it's very big and chunky and bold and it's fun. It's got a little bit of a cartoonish feel, fun feel. So let's start playing around with the behaviors. So behaviors are basically like animations that Camtasia has pre-created. So they made these up themselves, called them behaviors, and then you can go ahead and drag these onto your media. So usually most people just take one behavior and they add it in, but you can actually put multiple behaviors on your text or media. So if you hover over them, it's going to show you roughly what it's going to look like. So we're going to drag the jump and fall and let's play it. Okay, now what would be fun to add to that as well? Let's see what happens when we put the explode. So now you'll see on the right hand side, behaviors, it's got jump and fall and explode. All I did was drag it down and you can see when you click on this media that it has two and you can add even more if you want. So let's see what's gonna happen here. So it's going to do the explode effect in the beginning. And let's see if we can play around with it. So you can do things like slow it down. Let's slow it down and see what it looks like. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> that's my first time doing that. That is fun to play around with. That, that was really cool to watch, actually. Let me play that again. It like makes, it feels like they're actual pieces of paper flying in. So I slowed it down to 21%. And if you don't like that and you want it to go back, then you just click this uh, reverse arrow and it's gonna put it back to 88%, which is what it was originally at. But I'm gonna leave it at 21%. And the offset, let's see what the offset does. Let's see what it does there. Oh. So it made them like more spaced out when it was coming in. And it was already doing the jump and fall, like they were already doing like a shaking motion. So I actually don't like that offset, so I'm going to return that. And if you decide you don't like these two combination, you can just X out of them. So let's try two new ones. So X, X. Okay, so now it's just back to normal. Let's do shifting and drifting. Those are two interesting combinations. So let's see what it looks like initially. So it was more of like, in the beginning, it drifts in from the side there, and then it has now the shifting motion. So let's play around with these two. Let's move the drifting to slower. Ooh, that was cool. I liked how it started off with the W there. You didn't really know what it was going to spell. That was cool. So as you can see, when you play around 
with the multiple behaviors, you get like totally new behaviors. So these are already segregated themselves, like this is the sh just the shifting. But if you add the shifting with the drifting and you change some of the specifications, it makes something completely different. Something that I wouldn't have thought of to begin with, but just from playing around right now, like I want to use that now in, in a potential video because I, it looked really cool there. And the, the thing that I created beforehand with the other two, that was a cool one that I want that I would potentially use in another project. You can even add more behaviors if you want. You don't just have to do two and you definitely don't just have to do one. If you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine hour Camtasia course that you guys can get two months free access to in the description below. It's got a ton more tutorials, a ton more projects to work on. And if you are interested in fast tracking your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking it out. You guys can get two months free access in the description below. All right, guys. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.